Hello students. So today we are going to see a new chapter which is known as Introduction to Computer Networks. Okay. So in this chapter we are going to see the history of computer networks and the internet. Discuss about the expl uh, expo uh, explosion on the internet. Demerits of internet and uh, growth of computer networking. And you can see that uses of computer network at home business mobile and social media okay so these are all the topic that we are going to cover in this uh, chapter so let's get into it okay the first thing is introduction so a set of computer connected uh, together for the purpose of sharing resources is called computer network okay so to share some resources like uh, files, softwares, data, uh, hardwares. Uh, so to share this uh, uh, this information, you need some connection between one system to another system. So either any medium like wired medium or wireless medium. So any kind of medium can be used to uh, communicate between between two computers okay so this uh, connection is known as networking okay so here you can see that uh, at present is the most common resource sharing internet okay internet is the uh, most common sharing network uh, uh, platform to share the resources okay so here you can see that uh, we are uh, sharing resources like uh, web camera, speaker, printer, scanner, fax machine and uh, access service such as uh, www okay so internet is just a connection but uh, www is a service okay uh, digital audio, digital video which are, st uh, which are shared to the user application software and storage server so this is internet okay internet is just a connection between the computers in all around the world okay and the next thing is uh, uh, the a simple uh, a network in a network in a simple network a particular system or an individual system in the network is known as nodes okay so that's what it is uh, given here so the connection may be wired connection wire connection means physical connection between two computers or many computers or wireless connection okay wired connection like uh, e e ethernet usb and o ofc optical fiber cable uh, wireless connection like bluetooth uh, uh, wi-fi wi-fi hotspot okay so these kinds of uh, connection can be established between uh, computers okay so each computer in the network is known as node okay each uh, each single terminal in the network is known as nodes so uh, this is uh, you can see that computer network is a technique for is a technique of digital uh, communication network one that permits node to share its resources okay so this uh, computer network exchange the data uh, with each other through wire or wireless uh, connections between different terminals called nodes so the data for, from from this wire is transferred over a cable medium such as uh, uh, fiber optics cable wires are a wireless medium such as Wi-Fi okay so this is the basic uh, introduction to the network so each node is identified by using this IP address so IP address is uh, is a identification number okay it is a kind of uh, a telephone number or your mobile number to identify your uh, identity in your network okay so this IP address is used to identify a device or a node in the network so 
so here you can see that this is the history so this is a history of uh, uh, computer networks and the internet so here you can see that uh, went craft okay so this is a father of father or uh, founder of network so this is the internet uh, this person is known as internet uh, hall, of, hall of fame okay so next is lawrence robert so this is uh, this person uh, is the person who who is an uh, american scientist is also known uh, as a father of internet okay so these two person invented this uh, internet okay so next is yes so this is the history of uh, computer networks so in in 1950 1950 so the first uh, network is for uh, is no named as okay it is named or the method used to connect to devices is stage stage seg sorry mm. semi automatic ground environment okay semi automatic ground environment so it is used for used by us military for uh, radar system okay so multiple radar uh, system will be connecting to each other communicating with each other so that they can uh, find uh, the target okay so they can find the target uh, uh, missile or target aircraft to identify it okay next in 1960s uh, sabre okay semi automatic business research environment so this uh, commercial airline res reservation system uh, online connection with the two mainframe computers okay so this commercial uh, airline reservation system connects between two uh, mainframe system to reserve uh, seats for uh, reserve seats for the passengers in the airlines okay so next is uh, this is a method which is known as packet switching so this is packet switching which was in invented by paul brain and uh, donald and donald so they invented a device that transfers information between computers and the networks it uses uh, npl network which means national physical laboratory network uh, so they first uh, uh, coined the word lan okay lan which means a network uh, local area network so the speed of uh, transferring data uh, is uh, 760 uh, 8 765 kilobits per second okay so the this is very slow compared to right now okay but uh, you can see that in 1960s okay so it is a great breakthrough so next is intergalactic uh, in 1963 intergalactic computer networks so uh, so this internet inter intergalactic uh, computer network was uh, sent by uh, JC JCR Lichlander uh, to his off uh, college office discussed about the concept and the computer network uh, engaged to access communication with the user of computer okay so he just proposed the idea that uh, he, uh, a computer network can be access, uh, uh, can be created so that uh, information can be shared between uh, two computers okay so next is uh, telephone switch okay in 1965 at first uh, widely used a telephone which was introduced by western electric uh, which implements true computer control okay so here you can see that they are using telephone uh, network okay so telephone switches to uh, share information between computers and even you can control computers okay 
so in 1966 wide array network was introduced so an experimental paper okay which means that theoretical uh, article has been uh, introduced about wide area network in 1960 66 okay so it was published by uh, thomson moral and uh, thomas moral and uh, lawrence g robert okay so in this uh, published in the area of time sharing okay so it can be uh, the network can share information based on time stamp okay so one particular uh, uh, one particular time is allotted to a computer so that it can uh, transmit data in that particular time other than that it can receive data from other system okay so next is 1969 to 1970s uh, arpanet okay so this is a hierarchical routing after 1970s internet today okay uh, the first first in 1969 uh, four nodes of arpanets were uh, connected between four university namely university of california at los angeles at uh, santa barbara and the Stanford Research Institute and the University of Utah used in uh, using the 50 kilobits per second circuit okay so different four university systems between four universities um, connect using this uh, ARPANET so it transmit data about 50 kbps uh, per second okay Next is uh, packets. So switched network was was the theoretical work to be modeled as performed uh, by Lyudonel. Uh, Arpanet was first unpinned the development of it and uh, as theoretical work and his uh, hierarchical routing in later in late 1970s. Uh, with his uh, student uh, they they operated or uh, to develop today's network that we use okay so these persons in the year uh, 1970s has introduced this packet concept so basket packet is a small division of the data uh, which is used to transmit data from one uh, particular uh, part of uh, computer to another computer okay so next is uh, tcp ip so this uh, tcp ip is a, a transmission control protocol or internet protocol so this protocol was introduced in the year 1972 so uh, it was commercially available at the x.25 version uh, so in 1973 host concept was introduced by a French network uh, network name Silander. So next is uh, uh, 1973 to 1979 Ethernet was introduced. So so here you can see that the person named uh, Robert Metcalf. Okay. So he introduced uh, Aduha based network system at the University of Hawaii. So in July 1977, the paper was published uh, like Ethernet distribution packet system switching for local computer networks. Okay. So this was the first. Uh, process of ethernet wire wired connection between two computers in 1976 uh, arcnet arcnet was created by john murphy of uh, data point corporation in which uh, token passing networks were used uh, first to share storage devices in 1976 okay so this token system means each uh, computer will be given a token at that particular token number like uh, when you go for a bank you go for any transaction to the bank they'll be providing you tokens okay so when uh, 
when your token has a number okay when they will call the number call the number at the particular time you will, you will be going uh, to that uh, number and do your services okay like that uh, like that there each computer in the network they will be having a token system token number that particular token will be um, accepted for communication so this is a way of communication in 1976 this in a method is known as arcnet okay next now here comes 1995 fiber optics cable so this uh, this fiber optics cable uh, has a immense amount of uh, speed since it uses light to transmit data so the speed capacity of transmission from ethernet was uh, slightly elevated from uh, Uh, 100 mbps to 100 uh, sorry 10 mbps to 100 mbps at uh, uh, 1995 so uh, ethernet support transmission of uh, high uh, speed capacity towards gigabytes okay so frequently high speed up to 100 gigabytes per second was appended still in 1960s ethernet as ability to grow easily okay so based on the ethernet they have introduced this uh, fiber optics cable so uh, ethernet provides uh, electrical transmission data transmission of data but here uh, fiber optics cable provides uh, converts the data signals into light signals and light uh, will be transmitted through this through this fiber optics cable so this cable can retrieve the data at the one end at the speed of light okay so this is a um elevation or a diagrammatic way of providing you the information evolution okay next is internet internet stands for international networking so here you can see that this is the Uh, internet provides a uh, internet plays a vital role in our day to day life it provides all the information and services to us <coughs> yeah, early days you can see that it is uh, nowadays you can see that it is used for various purposes like uh, ordering online products online doing online works uh, even you can see that Uh, computer classes or uh, educational purpose is using this internet uh, facility to uh, do our job okay so it has some uh, disadvantages also okay so you all know this uh, advantages it can run up to uh, uh, 24 7 all the 365 days and it is used by e governance system and it is used by e banking uh, system and you can see that online payments are uh, being used here and there are some disadvantages also so simply wasting the precious time on the internet by surfing and searching unwanted things okay we often do that uh, lot of unnecessary information is also uh there why because anyone can uh, post anything on the on their page or blog okay so useful in, apart from useful inf- information there are some uh, unwanted or useless information uh is been stored in the internet okay so hackers and viruses can easily th- uh, easily theft our more val- valuable information available in the internet so there are a lot of security issues in are there in the e banking system so in the e banking system uh, security threats is a very important issue here so any person who is having access to the internet can uh, take take away data by using hacking or virus uh, programs so internet explosion okay so uh, from 19 uh, from 
it is expanding so the the internet is been expanding since most of the uh, users are using the services to uh, do their day to day activity so here it is getting bigger and bigger every day okay so in few years internet uh, build itself as a high powerful platform that changes their way uh, we do business and the way we communicate internet promotes as an uh, universal source of information of billions of people at work at home at school internet uh, gives high communication medium for uh, uh, given as an uh, international globalized in all dimensions of the world okay so uh, this internet is providing a medium to communicate with the, uh, a, a person not only a person share some information uh, to a person uh, so either the person can be located anywhere around the world okay so you, uh, he he may be apart from countries okay so you can see you can communicate with him without any hesitation by using this internet so internet grow internet is growing all the time by two things having uh, have marked the devaluation now uh, now a day that mobile technology and social apps are the two things that is the reason for uh, growth of uh, compu- uh, computer networks internet okay so the two innovation has changed uh, the people lifestyle to use internet uh we may find many communication in uh, communities in web social webs face uh, facebook has created in the year 2004 but grown into a worldwide network all over all over more than uh, 2000 uh, 230 million active users are uh, using this facebook mobile technology on uh, hand made possible to greater reach, reach of internet increase the in- internet users all over the world so next is growth of uh, computer networks uh, an account of uh, network operates all of us uh, uh, the scene in business and home we usually won't uh, think uh, wrong about it still everything uh, sometimes goes wrong okay uh, nowadays computers networks are uh, developed in a very interesting way some uh, some key development that has uh, occurred over the past several years includes growth of uh, popularity of cloud storage and cloud computing uh, on behalf of buying physical copies of games music and music uh, movies uh, in- increasingly download and buy digital license the they are needed why internet okay so here you can see that nowadays cloud information or cloud storage is getting popular uh, here you can see that uh, the centralized uh, uh, storage device will be there so that all the information that we have to uh, uh, we have to share will be stored in that cloud storage and uh, you can see that all the mm-hmm. Uh, uh, all the communications are been done by streaming okay so youtube videos will be stored in uh, uh, stored in a centralized location so it, it will uh, it will host the it will play the videos uh, to the requested user just by streaming to the uh, user okay not downloading that uh, content the whole content to the local system so it will just stream the data okay so this is a very uh, important reason for the development of internet and here you can see that um, uh, google is now using this uh, google as uh, as a important role in the growth of internet we used to we use this google to search in search content to the internet and you can see that difficult faced uh, difficulties are faced uh, difficulties faced by the service providers including google's is expanding their uh, 
residential fiber optic cable internet service due to increase and uh, increased competition and installation cost of uh, broadband providers even through 4g mobile networks was not reachable by many parts of the world the industry of uh, telecom has been uh, hard work hard working on the development of next uh, generation 5g networks so the speed of uh, mobile connection increase uh, dramatically uh, exactly how much customer was in need of this uh, 5g connection and to go okay when 4g was uh, in, uh, initially been developed companies were not waiting and they do not uh, feel shy to advertise about 5g uh, efforts it might be tested on the lab on by protocol version some elements of uh, this uh, standard 5g customers were also been interesting on the uh, promise of signal coverage with 5g okay so here you can see that this is the uh, uh, generations of uh, computer so first generation computers 2.4 uh, kilobits per second second generation networks here you can see that uh, 64 uh, kilobits per second 3g okay it allows uh, 2 megabits per second so 4g you can do up to 100 uh, megabits per second uh, 5g here you can see that uh, 1 gigabits per second okay so it would be very easy to um, transmit data in a 5g network so uh, telecom industries are now moving on to this 5, uh, 5g network so that you can uh, uh, transmit more amount of data in a very short duration of uh, time so now here comes the artificial intelligence so artificial is uh, artificial intelligence is used to manage and maintain and even protect the network connection and uh, it is in ena enables anonymous built built up of uh, traffic and activity which may be result uh, of nasty activities such as uh, ddos okay which means the distributed denial of service attack which is a uh, hacking services okay which is a hacking procedure which is used by the hackers to uh, to block the services that is done by a particular system mm. and here you can see that this uh, this artificial intelligence is used to protect the computer network in various uh, uh, in various uh, hacking process that uh, that will destroy the system hardware so uh, artificial intelligence able to be a better predictive uh, predict better predict traffic as able to be a better predict uh, traffic as it collects and analyze data in real time some of the network management managers were better prepared for a big event such as a world cup olympics valentine's day um, which often puts the uh, internet under pressure okay so this artificial intelligence will predict the uh, predict the information uh, predict the network uh, usage or particular event for example nowadays we are using this uh, internet to view uh, view the uh, important events like ipl world cup or uh, olympics so at this uh, at this event is happening uh, computer network artificial intelligence will uh, control this ne network so that it should not uh, break down or shut down when the uh, number of users or of the internet should when increases suddenly okay so this is done by using this artificial intelligence on the network so with this we'll finish the class today we'll see the the rest of the things in the next class. Thank you students.